What's up guys and welcome back to a, a little short episode of Game on Garage where you might notice behind me we've got some crossbars on our roll cage. Now apologies most of the work did happen off camera but I'm, today I'm just going to tell you how I went about it and how we got it done. So let's have a look at the end product. So as mentioned in the previous video, go have a look right there. We made some crossbar diagonal supports for our roll bar. Now, it was quite wobbly before and now it is much, much more solid. So, I decided to go with the double diagonal, so they meet in there in the middle and of course they are, I have some base plates that bolts in at the back. Now, this side was quite easy, um, I just made sure that it fit nice and tight in these two corners and of course meet up right in the middle of our main hoop but the driver side here in South Africa was quite a bit more difficult so I started off by cutting out um, a square here at the back to ensure that we've got enough room um, and then the other mistake I made so when I tacked weld the base plate and to the main hoop so I didn't do enough tacks and as we struggle to get this thing out of here because it's quite tight um, to this it's quite tight to the side over here so as we maneuvered it out it bent and I ended up with this one foot of the diagonal we just made being about two or three centimeters higher than the rest when you place it on a flat surface so there was absolute and it also it was wider so what I think happened is the diagonal just bent out slightly causing it to lift and being wider than the other feet Big error on my side, but that's why we learn, that's why we do this. I mean, it's the first time I'm doing something like this, so that's where you, you learn from your errors. What I should have done is measured the distance between the two feet as I was welding it up completely. But in the end, it wasn't that difficult to fix. We just cut out a bit of a, a notch down here, and then we could bend the bar back bringing it lower and closer inside. The, the most difficult part of these diagonals was to ensure that the pipe can mount up to your roll bar over here. So when you're doing square to square, it's very easy. It just fits on nice and square. But when you're going to a round tube, it's much more difficult. So let me show you what I've done. So what you do is you get yourself a marker and then let's say that you come in at this angle you draw yourself your throat line, so that's the line that will sit right next to the, the pipe you're meeting up to. So in this case, it would be something like that. So it will be, you know, it will sit like that. And then from that, you draw your face line, which is a third of the way up. So this is 50 mil. So about one and a half to two centimeters, 90 degrees to your throat line, something like that. And then all you do is you connect your corners. So draw that so it's around halfway and connect these corners. And same on this side, we just connect those corners over there so you've got your throat line that will line up onto the pipe and then your face line which is a third of the diameter of the pipe up and then you connect your two corners then when you cut this out with preferably a chop saw I don't have one so I had to use the angle grinder so the cuts wasn't perfect the first time uh, you cut on this line here and you cut on this line here so it's another day the battery died previously sorry about that but like I was showing um, after you've made your cuts on the lines, then it should meet up somewhere like there, like that. Um, trim it a bit further, try to get the, the straight edges a bit round so it, you know, lines up uh, much better on the round pipe. And then get it back in the car, make base plates the same way we have done it before, and tack weld it, get it out, and weld it all the way around. And that is exactly how we ended up right here. We've got our roll cage in the car with our main hoop as well as our two supporting braces all welded up all around on their base plates. 
We've got the whole drill so that we can bolt it in. It's not completely bolted fast now, but it, it is very solid. Previously, there was quite a bit of lift in one of the base plates, but with the supporting braces, there's none of that anymore. Now, in the future, well, I will probably add a harness bar. Um, I'm still deciding if I want to go main loop, supporting brace, supporting brace, main loop, or just straight one shot through main loop to main loop. But that's going to be in a future uh, project. For now, I just want to get this car done, get it back on the road and continue driving. So that was it for this quick episode. Um, just showing you guys how to notch uh, your tubing when you're making any sort of supporting brackets or when you're meeting a tube towards another tube at an angle other than 90. Please remember to, to hit that like button if you like this video and uh, if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing and then we can can finish the progress on our uh, on our roll cage and on our race car in the next episode we're gonna get painting and uh, i'm pretty stoked about the paint color and i'm pretty sure you guys enjoy it as well but in the meantime remember it's not game over it's game on <laughs>